Hello students, you are welcome to the fifth day of our video lecture and today we will learn how to change active voice of past continuous into passive voice. So let's see first structure of affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence. So in affirmative sentence past continuous we begin with subject followed by helping verb, was or were, closely followed by we first, then we use ing and at last we put up object of the verb. Now if we change this into passive words, this was the active format, we change into passive structure, it becomes subject plus was or were plus being followed by third form of the verb closely followed by preposition by and then object now let's see the sentence he was working out a problem this is the sentence he was working out a problem means he was working on a problem trying to solve a puzzle or a problem if we change this one into passive voice so passive will become as we know let's bring object at first a problem and continuous this is continuous tense so helping verb will be was in active voice we are having the subject he which is third person singular so we used singular form of helping verb and passive voice because our object is also singular so subject over here in passive voice also will be changed and followed by singular helping verb then third form of the verb before that we will be using being because it is continuous tense so helping verb is followed by being being is followed by third form of the verb and over here the verb is work so third form of work becomes worked third form is followed by preposition and then object so when you change the place of he from subject to object so in this case uh, he becomes him. So this is our passive voice. A problem was being worked out. We have left preposition over here. Worked out. Because in active voice, if the verb is followed by any preposition or adverb, the same word need to be transferred into passive. This we have to keep in mind. So our passive of this sentence is a problem was being worked out by him. Now let's make negative of the same sentence. <clears throat> In negative sentence, let me just uh, make changes over here only without writing the complete structure over there. In negative, whenever we make negative with the helping verb, so note comes between helping verb and the main verb. So this will become our negative structure subject followed by helping verb was verb and followed by note and then we first write in the object so in this case let's change the sentence directly and it becomes he was not working out a problem He was not working out a problem. If we change this one into passive voice, so it will be a problem was not. Now this is passive, so we'll use being was not being. Worked out by 
him. So this will be the passive format. Now when we change this one into interrogative sentence, so let's understand with the help of this one only. Now let me erase not from over here and we'll switch the place of helping verb and subject. So when we switch the place, it becomes this way. Helping verb will come first, subject will come at the second place and our sentence will be I'll write sentence directly over here of active voice first and it will be was he so we replaced or you can say switch the place of subject and helping verb was he working out a problem Was he working out a problem? It being interrogative sentence. Now we we'll change this one into passive voice. So it will be helping verb will retain over here only. Was a problem now use being and working out. So the verb work becomes third form and being worked out by him he becomes in an question mark over here so this is how we can change active of past continuous into passive form so hope you got the concept and you will work out the worksheet supplied with the same content we'll see you tomorrow with the next part of the tense. Till then, take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.